welcome to my session on main accounting terms i have included some seven eight here there may be many more but before we go to advanced level these eight terms will be important that i felt i consider the first one is business entity a business entity means anything having separate distinct and independent existence from its owners the business entity records the financial transactions from the viewpoint of the business rather than from that of the owner that means the business and the owner are two different legal entities therefore when the owner brings money into the business it is credited or added to his capital account and when he she withdraws any money from the business it is debited to or deducted from his capital account in the books of the business and business always treats the owner's money as a liability under as capital is therefore always shown under the liability side of the balance sheet we move on to the next one income it's a generic term you would have heard it many in many places but let's see it more formally income is a revenue a business earns from selling its goods and or services in that case it is called operating revenue or sometimes the business receives money or it earns money from incidental sources that is other than from the main activity of the goods or services that the business is is in in the form of say interest and or dividend on investments or commission or discount such revenues which are incidental are called non operating revenue the next term is very important expenditure and expense we usually use it interchangeably but these two terms are different let's understand the difference expenditure is an outflow of money and or money is worth by a business expenditure is a wider term that includes two broad types of outflows that is capital expenditure which is also called capex and revenue expenditure which is also called revex or expense therefore expenditure and expense are two different terms expenditure is a wider one which covers expense capital expenditure means the outflow due to which long term benefit will be received by the business revenue expenditure or revex or expense is the outflow resulting in benefit to be utilized in a short period of time like one accounting year and it directly relates to the revenue earned for such period thus expense is a part of the broader term expenditure for example purchase of goods or stationery purchase of machinery purchase of furniture are examples of expenditure as there is a flow of money or money is worth in all these transactions the only those will be treated as expense whose benefit will last up to one accounting year the next one is asset an asset is an economic resource of a business used for its operations expressed in monetary terms and generates future economic benefit assets can be broadly classified into two types one is non current assets which refer to assets not realizable in immediate future that is 12 months but those resulting in future economic benefit generally beyond 12 months that is fixed assets it can be tangible intangible tangible are the ones you can see intangible you cannot see like goodwill software capital work in progress intangible assets under development non current investments long term loans and advances other assets which are realizable after 12 months from given date non current investments means investments maturing beyond 12 months let's go to current assets which refer to assets which are expected to be realized generally within 12 months from reporting date which is a balance sheet date like receivables from customers in normal operating cycle of the business inventory that is stock in trade other amounts like advance to employees 
short term loans deposits prepaid expense etc and cash or cash equivalents including bank account balance fixed deposits which are maturing within 12 months from your balance sheet date the next one is liability liability means financial obligation or debt of a business payable in future it represents amount of money the business owes to the other parties liabilities can be broadly classified as again non current liabilities which comprise of internal liabilities that is to the owners which is a capital initially contributed by them as increased by profits and interest on capital and decreased by losses on drawings by the owners and interest on drawings and also the external liabilities that is outsiders generally includes liabilities to third parties like lenders dues to debenture holders payables to employees other deposits from customers vendors other entities which are payable beyond 12 months from a given date given date is your balance sheet date usually current liabilities comprise of liabilities which are expected to be paid generally within 12 months from reporting date like payable to vendors in the normal operating cycle of the business bank overdraft repayment amount of a long term loan which is due within 12 months loan may be of 5 year 10 year but the 12 month in initial installment from the balance sheet date is taken under current salary is due to employees expenses payable taxes payable short term other loans deposits payable within 12 months from given date given date is usually balance sheet date because that's the date you report your liabilities the next one is contingent liability contingent liability is a potential liability it is not had it has not had yet occurred that may or may not become an actual liability depending on the outcome of a future event for example if a customer of the business files a legal suit it will not be treated by the business as a liability until the final decision by a court of law because business is not agreeing to pay that right the customer sir have would have put a false claim we cannot agree to such things therefore it is shown as a contingent liability it is not recorded in the books of account but disclosed by way of a note to the financial statements that these are the cases against the business the suits or any other demands which may potentially become a liability in future on a certain event happening in this case in this example it is a decision of court of law profit loss gain let's see the difference between all these things profit means the excess of revenue of a period over its related expenses it may be calculated for each transaction or for the business as a whole for example excess of sale value of goods over the cost of such goods the difference sale minus cost will be profit it will be of course gross profit loss in the case the loss is the excess of expense of a period over its related revenues it may be calculated for each transaction or for the business as a whole similarly like profit for example excess of cost of goods sold when your cost is more and selling price is less so excess of cost over the sales value of the goods loss also refers to money or money is worth lost or cost incurred without receiving adequate benefit in return that is say loss of cash or goods by theft or fire accident loss on sale of fixed assets sale value being lesser than book value in case of fixed assets it shows loss gain means a monetary benefit or advantage that arises from events or transactions which are incidental to the business such as sale of fixed assets winning a court case where you get some money which was not expected appreciation in the value of an asset so these are the gains depending on appreciation in value of asset you may may not record in the books but it is a gain once you record abnormal gain means benefit realized over and above the expected normal benefit abnormal gain generally arises because of extraordinary savings in the usage of resources like 
unexpected savings in use of raw material for production or unusual efficiency in performance abnormal gains are usually non recurring sometimes it happens not a normal thing important one debit credit debit in case of a profit and loss statement loss account refers to increase in expense or reduction in revenue whereas in case of balance sheet debit implies increase in asset value or reduction in liability the word debit comes from the italian word debito which comes from the latin debita or debio similarly credit is just the opposite in case of profit and loss account it means increase in revenue or reduction in expense whereas in case of balance sheet credit means increase in equity or liability or reduction in asset the word credit comes from the italian credito which comes from the credo which is latin debits and credits are written as dr dot and cr dot respectively in abbreviated form in double entry bookkeeping when entries are made in ledger accounts to record the business transactions one or more debit entries will have one or more credit entries of same value so that total of all debits and total of all credits is equal at any given time so debit and credit is very important it is the blood to the heart of your bookkeeping double entry is the heart and debit and credit is the blood for your double entry system that's how your double entry system works in accounting hope these basic terms the preliminary ones have been clear to you thanks all of you for a patient listening